This October, we have two classic works of J-horror, starting off with the 1957 film Ghost of Yotsuya. Ghost of Yotsuya is a convention, arguably a conventional horror, horror film, the one that takes a little bit to get to the spooks. Like Kwaidan, it is also an adaptation of an existing horror story, in this case one from a kabuki play. The film follows Iemon Tamiya, played by Shigeru Amachi, a ronin who seeks the hand of the daughter of a noble, um, Oiwa, played by Katsuko Wakatsugi. After her father, Samon, I believe I'm pronouncing that correct, disrespects him, Aemon kills him, and also kills Samon's friend, Sato. Now, there's a small-time crook, Naosuke, who's played by Shutaro Imi, who's carrying a lantern from the two now-murder victims, offers to help cover up the murders in exchange for a little help and assistance. The two frame another criminal, Usaburo, and then murder the fiancé of Oiwa's sister, Osode, played by Noriko Hidazawa. So now Suke can marry her, and again, framing Usaburo for that additional murder as well. The two murderers end up with their prospective brides in Edo, and after a time skip, Amon starts feeling dissatisfied with his place in society, and to move up in the world, he decides to start courting another noblewoman's daughter, Ume, played by Junko Ikeuchi, behind his wife's back. Now, in order to marry her, he has to get out of his existing marriage, which means he gets in touch with Naosuke once again, this time to plot Oiwa's murder. They decide to frame a masseuse they know, Takuetsu, played by Jun Otomo, for adultery, poison Oiwa, and then kill Takets Takuetsu. And then here's where the spooky starts. The poison used on Oiwa doesn't just kill her, it causes horrible facial boils before she dies, and it's a long, painful, lingering process, giving her time to curse her husband before her death. Shortly after this, the ghost of the deformed Oiwa haunts Amon and Naosuke as he prepares for his wedding, ultimately driving him to madness. Now, first off, the makeup on the deformed Oiwa is incredibly effective has a real sense of body horror, not in the sense of depicting a deformity itself as horror, but the in sense of inflicting a deformity onto someone as horror. And I think it's an important sense um, to differentiate between the two there. Secondly, Amon has some really good Don Giovanni energy. He's a scumbag who views women as objects, as prizes to be claimed and mechanisms of his own social advancement. He has almost a couple moments of moral of, of near clarity of what he, who he is and what he's become, and that he's a kind of a scumbag. But he never takes the next step to change his behavior, which is what helps make the horror work further. Is this is a plausible person? This isn't necessarily the kind of two dimensional caricature that you get with say '80s horror films and that sort of thing. He's not sympathetic. You, you want to see bad things happen to him. You want to see him get his comeuppance. But he's also, there's a sense that this is a, this is, these are traits that could be in a person that you know. Not necessarily a friend, but a person you've encountered in the real world. Because Ghost of Yutsuya is a nice, brisk 80-ish minutes, it gets to the horror relatively quickly. What isn't explicitly the ghost story is used to clearly set up the ghost story. It's all really so a really solid piece of work and i am very glad i gave this movie a watch the film got a release from the criterion collection and i definitely recommend picking it up or if at the time of this recording it's available for streaming on the criterion channel watching it that way as well links to where you can find it will be in the show notes um amazon links will be affiliate of course and buying anything through there helps support the show Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the show, please like and subscribe. And also consider backing my Patreon. Patreon backers get episodes up to one week early of this show and any future Let's Plays. Also, please consider backing my coffee. 
uh, toss me a few bucks also helps support the show and it's not a monthly obligation or anything like that. 